Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to RAM Overload. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what are the top five free VPN that you guys can use. Okay, um, so this list in by, by no means is definitive. You know, some people may have other VPNs which they would recommend um, over some of the ones that I say. But for me, these are the ones that I have tried in the past and would rank as the top five for me. Okay, the first one is Hotspot Shield. Okay, so this one you probably heard of, um, especially if you're not in the USA, a lot of people have heard of Hotspot Shield and do use it quite a bit, okay? So the reason you would use a VPN is basically because you know, if you want to bypass the laws or some restrictions um, that some countries place over the internet, whether it's uh, like, you know, accessing YouTube or just to stay uh, private, right? Um, you don't want to give your information because certain websites can find out uh, your information, where you are and other information from your PC. So VPNs help protect protect that. Okay, so this one does have a paid version, um, which the premium is uh, $8 a month, and then there's a family one, which is 12 Okay, the, with the free one, you get one account. You can only have um, one connection um, at a time, so, you know, they do have mobile applications as well, and um, it works across all, all the board on all systems. So if you do have multiple PCs with this installed and the same account, only one can be connected at a time. Okay, so they do allow a military grade connection and fast VPN servers as 160 um, plus servers. Okay, and then uh, fast VPN connection, okay, which is uh, one gigabytes per second, which is pretty good. Um, I believe they do limit it. Um, especially if you're on the free one, it wouldn't be um, the same as the paid one, even though it does advertise it, but it is throttled. I know that for, for sure. Okay, um, the other thing you need to consider is it's not optimized for streaming. So if you do or if you do want to use it for Netflix or any other streaming service, uh, this one is not, the, not um, it. Okay, you would have to upgrade to the premium one. Um, that being said, um, it, it only, uh, allows you to do one location which kind of sucks um, you know it doesn't specify which location it is but you can only go on one location okay um, they do have a limit does this specify over here okay not over here um, I believe they removed the limit but they used to have a limit which is like five hundred dollars five hundred megabytes um, a day right um which does not carry over but i believe now they've upgraded it to unlimited bandwidth but they do uh still throttle the connection so you just got to take that into consideration all right uh moving on to the next one is hide.me okay so hide me is another vpn it's not based in usa it's based out of i believe it's malaysia which is pretty good since they won't work uh follow under the stringent laws of united states um and that's you know why most people do use vpns okay um especially if you're in the united states okay so it's 100 percent into independent provider is one of the fastest vpns around uh, obviously there's a caveat and it is um uh dependent on uh, the other VPNs um, that are around. Uh, it, it supports IPv6 and best streaming ser experience. So they do provide the streaming uh, service with this, unlike the hotspot shield. Okay, so let's see. The free plan is 10 gigabytes per uh, per month. So that's the data traffic. So it's not unlimited like hotspot shield. So once you reach that limit, you probably won't be able to connect anymore. All right, uh, there are five locations, unlike the hotspot shield, which had one location, um, and the number of devices is still one, okay? And yeah, no ads, no logs. Um, it, okay, so the free plan does not support streaming. Okay, take that into consideration as well. All right, uh, and then the paid ones are not too bad, especially if you're paying um, yearly which is th comes out to be three dollars eighty four cents which is really cheap in my opinion all right um so there is no f also for this one there is no throttling right uh, uh like i mentioned for the uh hotspot shield there's no throttling in this one um so that's definitely a good uh thing with them all right next one is windscribe so windscribe is i believe a canadian website or uh, vpn it's um similar to the other ones uh, in the in what it provides as 
far as features go, right? Um, you know, it stops tracking, uh, unlock, unblock geo-restricted content, uh, basic VPN protection, and it also has stopped leaking personal information. So this one's a feature which others really don't have. Um, this one, it provides hackers from stealing your data while you use public Wi-Fi and block annoying advertisers from stalking you online. Okay, so it does provide extra, hold on, extra protection in terms of blocking like ads and malware and things like that, right? Um, it has unlimited so let's let's go down to the free plan so so you can build a plan which is pretty interesting you can build a one dollar per location per month okay so let's see let's scroll down okay so these are the locations available for the free one romania norway switzerland germany netherlands hong kong uk united states the pro one has all these other countries it even has fake antarctica whatever that is but um yeah, your, the free one has quite a bit of locations available for free. Okay, so let's just do build a plan and see. Okay, I got to sign up. I'll leave that for now, right? Um, so yeah, this one also pretty good. Um, in terms of speed, it is really good as well. Um, there is, I believe, a limit of 10, megabyte, 10 gigabytes per month. So definitely take that into consideration with this as well, okay? So these are the general features that it provides. Use for free, split tunneling, port forwarding. Uh, they have different tools as well, um, you know, and features. You guys can just check it out all on here. Um, but yeah, definitely, um, I believe this is the third one on the list and it definitely um, deserves this spot. All right, the next one is, what is this, Privado VPN. So this one is fairly new. It just came out, I believe, in, um, what is it, maybe 2019 or around there. So it's, it hasn't been out for too long, but it definitely has drawn a lot of attention. Okay, so this is probably, uh, you know, it has a great user base. A lot of people use it. Um, it gives you your information there, so i got to block that out on top. But that being said, um, it is protected by Swiss privacy laws, so that's definitely a plus because the Swiss has one of the best privacy laws out there. Okay, so you definitely want to aim for that. All right, um, it, it is free. They do have a free version, so you guys can see over here, and it's uh, protect 10 gigabytes of data every 30 days. No obligation. You have access to 12 locations and strongest uh protocol vpn protocol all right so it's free for 10 megabytes or 10 gigabytes every 30 days only one connection at a time and it has um you know it, it's available all across the board on a bunch of different devices so these are the countries that it's normally available in um you guys can check them out over here and yeah definitely um worth a try uh if you're looking for a good vpn all right moving on to the last but not least is proton vpn so again this is a swiss vpn obviously the swiss vpns will definitely get the higher spot than the other ones mainly because of privacy um, laws in sweet in switzerland uh, which is a lot better than american all right so proton vpn is available across all the board uh, they do they did change up their website recently so if it looks a little different that is because it is uh, they've changed it they changed it up all right so it is a completely free VPN let's go to pricing and check out what they have so obviously they have a paid version also so let's do USD so one year plan two year plan it's around six dollars a month right um, so these are the differences. So you access to 1,700 servers in 60 different countries, 10 VPN connections at a time. This one can only have one. Medium VPN speed, highest VPN speed on the paid. So you know you're 100 servers in three countries. So you got US, uh, NL, I believe that's Netherlands, and Japan. So these are the three countries that you will have access to with the free one, one connection at a time, and you will get medium speed. Okay. Obviously, if you want to go for the paid one, you will get a lot better services and features. All right. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, secure streaming. You can stream from this pretty good. Um, 
and what was the pricing again? Yeah, six dollars a month, which is pretty good, not bad. It's kind of like the average of what the pricing is for the rest of the. Um, uh, oh well, the one month is ten dollars, so that's kind of on the high end. You would probably want to go for the one year plan, which is six dollars, um, and that's kind of like the average that most people are charge around. So yeah, those are the top five VPN choices, free VPN choices in my opinion. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts or you know questions or comments on it. Leave it down in the comment section below. I'd love to help you guys out. If you have a VPN provider that you use and would rate higher than any of these, definitely let me know. I'd love to check it out. Other than that, if this video helped you, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.